Alright. So we will start by going to ChatGPT. If you are not familiar with ChatGPT yet, I will pop up a link in the right corner of the screen, which will take you to the video I created, which discusses how to access, use, some demo and tutorial about ChatGPT. The same link is also available in the video description below. So what I did here is ask ChatGPT to write a VBA code that will generate PowerPoint slide deck with a purple colored theme. I told it to use its knowledge to create contents on the slides with topic about tips on how to present properly. I also asked it to generate at least 7 slides, including an introduction and a Q&A slide. I stopped the first response since it is only giving me a layout of what I should do on my slide. I don't want that. I don't want to create the slides, instead I want ChatGPT to create the slides for me. So I stopped the response, then retyped my chat again, with a very minor change, and now it is writing the VBA code that I asked it to do. I asked it for at least 7 slides, so this might be a long code. There we go. We even have an explanation on the VBA codes it gave. Okay. The next step to do is to copy the VBA code. We just need to click this copy code icon here on top of the block of code it generated. Alright. Copied. Now let's open PowerPoint. Just open a blank presentation. Then let's open VBA by pressing Alt and F11 from your keyboard. Here we go. Then right click to the VBA project. Then insert module. This will create a new blank module. Let's then paste here the VBA code that we copied from ChatGPT. And click the play button from the top toolbar to run it, and this code should generate the slides for you. Oops. We have an error. Let's click debug to see what it is. Okay. The code generated by ChatGPT is not always perfect. Like on this one, it is referencing an office theme for Purple Bliss, which is probably not existing in my machine. It is more likely a theme that comes pre-installed from old PowerPoint versions or other MS Office package. I only have an MS Office home version here. The simplest solution here is to comment out this line by putting a single quote at the start of this line. That will solve it. But if that is too easy for you, then I will also show you how to further debug the code, create a new PowerPoint theme file, and have this code running correctly using a theme. Otherwise, if you are not interested in these next steps, this video has chapters, so feel free to jump to the last chapter where I will show the auto-generated slides from this code. Okay. Since you're here, looks like you want to learn how to debug a VBA code and how to create a theme file. First, let's determine the exact path where this code is looking at. Let's copy this environ app data here to the clipboard. Then let's press Ctrl G to open the immediate window below. Now we can type in a question mark, then paste the environ app data and press Enter. There we go. We now have the exact path where we should look. Let's open Explorer, then paste this path to the address bar. OK. According to the code, we should go to Microsoft folder. The templates folder. Then themes. Oops. We have no themes folder here. So, that's definitely the error. The file cannot exist here, since even the folder is not here. So why don't we create a folder here for themes to match the path being indicated in the VBA code. OK. Now that path exists. So we just need to create a THMX file or a PowerPoint theme file. To do that, let's open PowerPoint. Then File, New. From the suggested searches here, let's select themes. This will then show you a list of all the available PowerPoint themes, both on your local drive and online. You can manually browse or search from here. And since we want a purple colored theme, why don't we choose this one, named Financial Design. Let's create. There we go. Now, all we need to do is save this to the target path indicated in our VBA code. Let's save it to this PC, then browse. For the type, let's choose office theme, which is the THMX file type. Let's save it to the correct path. OK. We now have our THMX file. We can either rename this to Purple Bliss, or we can change our code to reference the crypto.htmx instead. Congratulations. We've basically done a code debugging task here. Now we're ready to rerun the VBA code. Just click the play button. Wow. That was fast. Here we go. Beside the debugging, which as I've mentioned earlier is just an optional thing to do. We have basically created a whole PowerPoint slide deck within a few seconds. And this is not only a template, but a full working content of the PowerPoint slide deck. You can see here details for tips on how to present properly. Know you audience. Prepare contents. Use visual aids. Practice. Engage your audience. And we even have the introduction slide as the first slide and the Q&A slide as the last one, which is what we requested from ChatGPT. We basically have a whole working PowerPoint deck here, which you can further update and customize. By using this technique, not only that you can save a lot of time designing your deck, but you can also get a lot of ideas, inputs, and insights on the actual content of your slides. 
The slides generated here has only a few contents, but that's mainly because of the topic I choose. But for other topics, and maybe some more additional detailed instructions to chat GPT, you might not even need to think much for your contents anymore. Alright. As one last thoughts, and also as a reminder, this video does not intend to promote laziness, plagiarism, and other negative things. I just want to share how AI can affect many aspects of our lives. So please be wise and be very responsible when using AI tools. Let's always keep it on the positive side. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.